Hey, what's up, beautiful people? Today is March 25th, and here's your daily injury report. So we just got through this new moon yesterday, right? Now today, that was at 40 degrees. Now the sun is at 50, five degrees, 50 degrees. Five degrees, which is exactly on Chiron. All right, so we got this little boom, this like expansion of energy. I'd say more like a depth of energy going into our vulnerability. And now the sun is just sitting right on top of it. Like, you know, when you were a kid and that bully just sat right on your face and you couldn't get up. You're like, so it's almost like, okay, I accept it. Stop fighting. And what happens usually when you stop fighting? Bully gets up, right? So <clears throat> this is our ego, a big ego check. And look, right now, everybody's drinking some kind of Kool-Aid, okay? With so much misinformation, so much, you know, like so many opinions that are, that, are, that are injected into all the information that is going on right now in the world events. Who knows what the hell's going on? Me personally, I do not trust the CDC or the WHO or like there's always an agenda. There's always an agenda. And clearly, uh, one thing that we all have to admit and agree to that there's much more stuff than we know that's going on here, Okay. A lot of this stuff just does not line up. It does not add up. It ain't right. But you see, you know, they, they predicted. Uh, they've done run-throughs of this situation, and they see how people are reacting and responding. So, you know, people are getting into arguments about what to do. Stay home. Don't stay home. You know, like, the, these belief systems are being imprinted, okay? But the key is, is either way you look at it, if you're feeding that, that, that outside of yourself agenda, okay, then you're going down a very limiting path because the agenda that you need to be pay attention to is in your heart. So if you feel like it's right <clears throat> to stay home and stay within and, you know, like avoid everything, then you do that. And then, But you bunker down and you focus on something that you're passionate about, something that you're positive about. You know, you might feel vulnerable, you might feel locked in, but if it feels right, then do it. And if you feel like going for a hike, if you feel like that's what you need, Going for a hike in the middle of nature isn't, I don't see how that's gonna hurt you. That makes absolutely no sense, All right? So there's a lot of these, uh, these things. Now, 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 of course, like, you know, if you go in the grocery store and there's a whole, whole lot of people in there, which is typically the case right now, then, you know, that kind of place has a really weird, eerie feeling. I know me, you know, that's the only time that I sort of get this like weird vibe about, mm, I don't like being around, you know, all this weird, it's more, for me, it's more about the energy than anything, you know, like, it's just weird energy going on, but really, like, the world is, con is, is basically developing PTSD from all this shit, but it's a lot of, because of the ignorance, people don't know, so they, so they trust the information that they hear, but they're not trusting their own heart, and that's the problem, okay, so this is bringing us into that vulnerable place, like, hey, <clears throat> are you gonna listen to yourself, and we know, like, when you're tuned in, you hear information and you feel like, okay, that's legit, that's right. But if you're so tuned in to the external, if you're, if you're mainlining your energy to that external source, and that's where a lot of control freaks have a problem, right? You get hooked into these external sources and you don't think for yourself. <clears throat> and and, that's, and that's, the, that's the entire point of this panic process is for you to lose your shit and just react automatically to all this stuff and take your power away. And let's face it, a lot of us have been taking our power away in many other ways in our lives. And that's why this inner work is so incredibly important right now. So, oh, excuse me, just eight. <laughs> take your power back, focus on what feels right, what feels legit, and then go into that direction, okay? And it's gonna be very vulnerable right now. It's gonna be very like, my ego's feeling, you know, might feel bruised. The pride is like, ah, I'm gonna have to switch some things around, turn some things around. But you know what? Like, that's what we have. That's the inner work. That's part of the process. So, you know, stick to that. This intensity is going to last for a good two weeks. Check out my, you know, um, live that I just did. I talked about this whole week, okay? <clears throat> just listen to yourself and stay centered the best you can and face these feelings and connect with people that you trust and love and feel like are good support systems for you, okay? So if you haven't done it yet, please go to the link in my bio and download my free ebook. And um, if, you're, if you're interested in joining this community that I'm building, I'm gonna be sending out um, an email to everyone uh, here in the next couple of days about what the next step is, okay? And if you like reading for me, DM me here and you want to talk about coaching, you can get me here too, okay? I love you guys very much. Stay strong, stay centered. I'll see you tomorrow.